today that we are teaching that how to do all this floating photo okay all this floating photo that you, you look at the photo that we took um, okay in this case that I taken a few shot of this with a different uh, facial impression but the exposure setting everything will be the same so you only have to do is choose that one of the best facial expression that uh, make it as your main photo okay in that case I already chosen this uh, let's see okay so look at this everything is okay okay and now then you check it out the histogram histogram you look at here okay you look at the highlight area highlight area there is uh, uh, you look at this slightly tiny line of the overexposure of here why this is this is actually is this area okay this area this area is mean that the highlight is already overbrown. Overbrown is mean that that is no detail because this places is zone eleven or zone twelve. That uh, because now least that a lot of camera that claim that they have a dynamic range between uh, zero to fourteen stop f stop of the uh, dynamic range. Dynamic range mean that whatever you capture, that is the image retained on the zone. Uh, the okay. Let 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 us put it this way. Is about. 0 to 10. 0 to 10 is the standard dynamic range. This is which is that what our uh, uh, camera that what our eyes can see the detail. But a lot of camera claim that they got 0 to 14 f stop of dynamic range. Dynamic range that means is within this 14 f stop is mean that they got another two stop on the zone one. That means there is got minus 0 and 0 and 1 and start from to 10. 11 12 so it's, it's mean that on the zone the darkest areas they got another two stop extra and the brightest area they have another two stop extra it's mean that what it's mean that you can trace back you can extract back the the thing that is already over exposed or exposed by two stop and you can retain back the black area about two stop under exposure that means on the darkest area darkest area you can retrace back about two stop okay two stop let me exposure is two stop okay but bear in mind whatever that is under exposed that will be uh, uh, create a lot of noise and more uh, sorry is uh, color fringing like uh, this kind of um, uh, noise that color noise that uh, sorry it's not it's not fringing this color noise that created in the darker area this is the thing that we, we, we don't want to see and the other side that is like you look at this bright area brighter area so we can actually remove back look at this the tiny small area then actually we can pull back about two stop to make it not I mean that return back the detail on the white color so it's quite amazing but uh, today I'm not going to teach you for the dynamic range so let me show you for the uh, what I'm going to do with this photo okay uh, my standard operating procedure that I will do the only the exposure a very minimum of adjustment of this photo okay look at this okay the first thing that I want to see is because that you, you look at this side and this side it is not bright, bright enough so don't get confused by this small little tiny line that what we just said that is belong to this area so now we want something that is here is here you look at this direction this area is a white color. actually this is white color shirt so we only we do you look at this area that means is at least under two to three f stop they mean two to three two to three f stop which is about john six or seven it is it's, it's very close to the mid tones so in this case i will bring up the exposure okay when you see the exposure you look at this is almost reaching a zone 10 uh, what, what is the zone system this is one thing that i, I, I forgot to teach you uh, i mean i forgot to mention about zone system okay usually the standard zone system will be 10 stops uh, consists of the from darkest area to the higher area so in between that is a zone five to six it's mean that we call it a, a gray zone gray zone is mean that middle tones that is uh, just like just now what we say that is over uh, about this area it's over here then you can see the detail everything that is not too bright it's not too darkers okay so from zone one zone one is is completely dark that means it's, it's not consists of any detail inside okay zone two 
Okay, zone two is mean that it's muddy, muddy black. Muddy black is mean that consists of detail are very muddy. Okay, from zone three start to zone seven is mean that the middle range. That means you can see this, and you can you see this area is all the darkest area retained with the detail. So okay, same thing. I will repeat again. I'm not going to teach you zone system today. All right. So you just bring up this and put up the white area until the area that you think that is ideal for you okay you look at this okay when you see the blue color the blue color is mean that is the sky the sky is mean the blue so the blue actually is is almost over exposure already so uh, in this case we don't care because that we only want the main picture to be in the right exposure so i just pull up pull until look at this it's almost touching a zone 10 okay this area is almost over ex exposed so i have to return back slightly okay and let look at the let let's look at the face okay look at this when i put it this this thing moving toward the zone 10 and my zone 1 is almost gone so in a good picture then we don't want to see the color noise look at this okay whatever thing that is not supposed to be sure that means it's supposed to be stay in the dark that means it have to be stay in the dark in order to create a very clean and clear look of the photo so in this case that i have to pull back okay you look at this look at this histogram here there's a there's a, a chance of color okay that means this is the the yellow i mean that the the rgb the yellow there this is the luminance color it's a white color that means it's the highlight and low light color it's it's really gone to the zone ex exceeding zone zone one that means it's gone to the zero already that means is this not what we want because everything there in the darkest this is supposed to be retain a little bit of detail but now it's almost gone so i have to pull back a little okay then you have to look very carefully you look at this small little little sharp edge that it slightly touch the edge then we do i mean the photo will be look more clean but in this case the color i uh, mean the slip is really overexposed in this case that you can pull back a little bit highlight this is actually is not very advisable because that whatever you pull back the highlight the photo actually it turned gray look at the difference okay it will turn gray okay because it's removed the highlight that actually that you want from the zone 10 okay so in this case i don't want i i, I remove i put it back to the zero so i only have to do is pull back a little okay make it less overexposed and in this case we pull back the black let the sub edge uh, touching the zone one okay this is pretty much the, the photo that we want okay in this case that you look at it, it's pretty simple it's only just one two three uh, adjustment that's it then uh, okay I actually I, I try to save this but you can't so I want to let you see the before and after but this all this thing is is tangled around so forget it so I let let me op just open the image okay this is the first step okay second step that you, because that you look at here i i have shot all this this is the element that i already shot okay you just have to choose one of the background that without anything then sh okay adjust back the adjustment like what you adjust the first picture because uh, you look at here so it's pretty clear this is without the flashlight i mean that the softball then you can't see the small tiny line there on on the completely overexposed so this is pretty easy you just pull the thing okay uh, touch the touch the edge okay when this turn great the the blues is com coming up is mean that the blue is overexposed okay so just slightly touch and pull a little okay the sharp edge is touching and that's it open Okay, let's pull down and shift over. Okay, 
let's do a comparison okay look at this okay this the the image because that is a bit uh, the chatbot is not very stable so it's shifted a bit so it doesn't matter okay uh, now we use the option masking so you look at this this is invisible so in this case that we need to we need only to uh, uh, mask back this part this part and remove all the all the all the subject that we don't want remember tripod is very important because without tripod then you never get this kind of image that you want uh, look at the exposure the first exposure and the second exposure actually I, I should come I should copy the actually I, I in that case that in the right way I should copy the setting of the the synchronize the image but I didn't I just use my eye to do the adjustment the, this is not very right uh, I suggest you guys that next time then just select the first the first setting that you do the adjustment in the raw converter so you can just directly pass it into the the image that you want okay uh, this is not very I mean that is not always correct because the, the sun is moving sometimes it get darker sometimes it get more cloudy so in that case that you only have to do uh, after adjustment so no worry about that we do it after okay so we try to okay make this thing disappear the unwanted thing that disappear okay yep okay okay look at this guy actually you don't have to run okay but he run so it's okay yeah just making fun all right let's brush off all the items that we don't want okay remember because that just now you can you can see that the photo is actually not not aligned properly but it doesn't matter we can do it after then we can shift back the the alignment after we remove all the items that we don't want okay okay look at this okay it's already shifted a bit what we have to only shift up a little okay then try to make it align in proper picture because they try not because in that case that if you don't shift back the pixel you will be uh, uh remember the brush that you use is a feather feather you are feathering the brush if you don't shift back you don't shift back the pixel it will overlay the picture that make the photo is look like something blurring that which is that you don't want to see that you will make your photo look quite funny so remember all this item i want the item just remove okay so it's pretty simple okay look at this yeah and this is the picture that we shave about two to three pixels that is really shifted up upward so it doesn't matter we can just uh, that we can just transform it and pull a little back a uh, little bit make it bigger in order to align back the thing okay now you can see now you can see okay it's pretty simple and one of the photo is is done just simple as uh, like this yeah just try it next time okay hey, thanks guys for watching but this is not the final image yet we're going to do the part two to removing the sky and change it to more dramatic look okay guys stay tuned on my part two part two is going to teach you how to change the sky uh, from ordinary to extraordinary Okay, stay tuned on my channel and please make sure you subscribe on my channel. Thank you so much guys. Stay tuned.